PC Whiskey here with the latest from Viper Gaming, the VPN 100. This is an M.2 NVMe SSD. Comes in different sizes, of course. This one here has a built-in heatsink to keep things cool, which is nice. And uh, like I said, today I got here from Patriot the Viper VPN 100 that we're going to test out. The 512 gigabyte model, as you can see right here, they do have different sizes all the way up to two terabytes in size. All of them, of course, using the latest PCI uh, E Generation 3 X4 speeds. And as you can see here at the top under features, it's using the Fission E12 controller. Okay, that's the uh, second generation uh, NVMe controller, eight channel controller built on the TSMC 28 nanometer process. And uh, it's going to support, obviously, the latest TLC and QLC NAND technologies, in this case, Toshiba's. And, um, well, 3D NAND is it. This is nice and fast. We're going to put it to the test. You can see right there on the box how it's advertising these blazing read and write speeds. But, you know, nothing beats some good benchmarks to really prove and see what the heck is going on. Because, I mean, look at these crazy read speeds of 3450 megs per second and 3000 up to 3000 on the right. Uh, lots of nice verbiage here on the inside, as you can see there, talking about how it's five times faster than a regular SSD. We'll take a look at that also. Great for gamers, tech enthusiasts, content creators, video rendering professionals. You want blazing fast speeds? Well, this is going to provide that. You want something that has high performance that will last? Well, this is claiming to perform and give you that as well. With three years warranty, they stand behind their product. And with that heatsink, I should say that I, I hope to see some cooled temperatures compared to my other uh, NVMe SSD that I have in my system. We'll have both of these working side by side, so we'll, we'll know in just a moment. And also, you know, keep in mind that uh, you can install this in various ways. Uh, you can install this on an adapter. You can install it on an older board. Here's an older board, for example, that you can just uh, slide it into the uh, M.2 uh, socket there, as you can see there, and adjust the uh, screw, right? And, uh, and away you go. Uh, on other boards, of course, this slot might be in a different spot on the board, but uh, that's uh, nor here nor there. Most important thing is that your graphics card does not touch it, and that's good. There's lots of room there, as you can see in this example, so no problems there with that heat sink popping up and sticking out. As you can see here, I installed it on another board as well, and uh, it looks great. Um, no RGB on this one, and quite frankly, I don't really care for that on an NVMe SSD. But when it comes to benchmarks, we're going to start off with the Addo Disk Benchmark. And you can see here that it is giving me exactly what it advertised in the specs when it comes to sequential read and writes, as you can see right there. So pretty darn uh, right on the money when it comes to uh, the read and the writes. Crystal Disk Mark also confirmed these results with its benchmarks, and it gave me practically uh, very similar results. So I'm quite... Uh, pleased to see consistency in the benchmarks, right? Even though they might slightly um, perform these benchmarks uh, a little bit different, we're getting consistency, and that's what I like to see. On the ASSSD benchmark as well, 3,000 megs per second there on the read, and about 2,000 on the right is also within the uh, advertised sequential read and writes. And um, again, here are the IOPS in case you're wondering about those uh, input outputs and uh, all the operations per second that's going on there. So there you have it. Pause the screen anytime if you're interested in seeing this more in detail. The linear read, you can see there, also we're reaching the 3,000 megs per second mark on this read test suite from ADA64. The performance test 9.0 is saying that this is rated super high. Now, okay, that's nice to know. But really, how does it compare to other drives that were tested with this benchmark? And as you can see there, the uh, Samsung SSD, the 840 EVO, well, it is actually five times faster than that one. So I guess you could say that it is, uh, depending on the SSD, it could be uh, five times faster. And uh, PC Mark 8 gives us a variety of um, storage type of tests, whether you're using a game or Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator or Microsoft Word. It gives you some... Uh, meaningful information on your 
regular duties, basically, that you would be doing your tasks and, and the performance that you would get from that. Now, when it comes to temperatures, you can see here that basically when I first installed it, barely used it, 27 degrees Celsius right, right off the bat because it hasn't really been used yet. But after about three hours of usage on this, um, the temperatures went up to 35. Mind you, 35 is pretty darn good compared to 56 degrees Celsius on my drive C, as you can see right there. So I am not complaining here about this uh, SSD compared to my drive C SSD, which I won't tell you what that one is, but I tell you, this is very impressive. Uh, I do like it. I do like the performance. It definitely is something that I would upgrade to if you are using an SSD or a regular hard drive. Priced now on Newegg.com at approximately around $80 US, give or take a couple dollars here or there, plus taxes, of course. And uh, you can see it fits beautifully on this board of mine, on this MSI board. Very nice. Definitely recommend it. I'd like to thank uh, Patriot for providing this Viper Gaming Edition uh, SSD the VPN 100. Comment below, let me know what you think. I'll add the latest pricing links underneath in the description. And again, thank you for watching.